back. Um, I'm just looking at a, a new location for the weekend. I've already been to the Lake District two nights ago um, to Tarn House and then I went up to uh, Lingmore Fell as well. I'll, I'll put a bit of video up soon and show you some of the images that I got from there. It was a great, great uh, trip out, even though it was just only for a few hours. I enjoyed it and I, I think I got some nice shots there. At the moment, I'm planning to go to uh, Waswater this weekend. So again, obviously I'll join that, that video footage onto this video for you. Um, Waswater, I've never been there before. I've, I've heard it's quite um, an awesome place for landscape photography. So that should be great. Um, whilst I'm at Waswater, obviously I'll, I'll uh, go to the surrounding area, see, see what else is available, because I've, I've never been in that area. So. Hopefully I'll catch some waterfalls and some nice things up there. Uh, the only thing left to, uh, to say really before the, the, the uh, video starts is if you haven't uh, already subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate it um, and like the video and, and share away if possible that, that would be uh, really appreciated. Okay so enjoy. So just arrived at my first location which is uh, Tarn House, never been here before so quite looking forward to getting around this uh, Tarn in the Lake District, it all looks pretty good so far. Take a look around. Absolutely awesome. I don't know where to start. <laughs> um, yeah, even this view just behind us is amazing. So I think I'm gonna get a shot from here to start off with. Can I go wrong, really? Plenty of fluffy stuff in the sky. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's get on with it. For my uh, first shot here, um, as you can see, that the, the view is amazing anyway. Um, you cannot really go wrong. Um, but I've chosen an aperture of f9 and the shutter speed of 125th of a second on ISO 50. But um, I think whatever you try here, you, you're going to get some lovely shots. It's just a stunning place, and that the scenery is just incredible um so i want to crack on now i'm going to move locations to, to a slightly different place um there's a lone tree just down there i might, I might have a try that with the lake and or the tarn in the background um, and see what that looks like then i'm going to go to a higher viewpoint that looks right across the tarn towards uh, coniston and get the peaks over there so that looks that should be quite good So I'm, I'm looking for uh, like a higher viewpoint of the town. 
so I'm going to go there's a, there's a path leading up to the top somewhere along here, I'll just have to find it because um, I really would like to get a view over the town um, so hopefully I'll find it soon I managed to make it up to one of these little hills that surround the town and I have to say this place is it's incredible um, I'm sorry about the the wind the, the wind is really playing up even though I've got this mic on it just seemed to be working quite how I was intended to work but hey never mind um, so I've been up here I've took a, a few shots um, disappointed if I don't get anything because this place is just it's just incredible I mean it really is you can see from miles as well the views are stunning <laughs> what a place and um, so I'll, I'll definitely be back here at some point um, you can't go wrong really it's it's absolutely amazing what I'm gonna do in a minute then is, is uh, once I've drunk my can of Aldi coke um, I'm gonna get down off the hill um, and head across the little Langdale and hopefully catch a nice sunset on um, the top of Lingmore Fell although it's not looking that great because all the clouds now are starting to disappear and I need a little bit of cloud coverage um, for it to work again uh, apologize for the audio there's not much I can do about it it's not, it's not it's pretty windy up here so I'm off to little Langdale see you in a bit bye bye Okay, so here we are at uh, Bleaton. Um I'm going to head up to Lingmore Fell in a moment when I can find the uh, pathway. Uh, in terms of locations, uh, it's pretty stunning. It's qu still quite warm. It's like 20 odd degrees. Uh, so I've got a bit of a dab on. <laughs> um, yeah, so looking forward to doing this because I've never been uh, up on this fell, so it should be quite interesting. Uh, I have been on one of the the smaller peaks up there, just opposite um, the Langdale Pikes. I'm not quite sure what it's called now. Um, so yeah, um, onwards and upwards it says. Well, definitely upwards. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye bye. So I've only just started climbing. What a view, though. Beautiful. So this path is. Is it a path? <laughs> Is it a path? Well, it's like full of like waist high bracken, so it's a bit of a tough slog. But onwards and upwards. So I made it up to the uh, point I want to be on on uh, Lingmore Fell. The sky isn't really cloudy enough now that most of the clouds have gone so the uh, sunset's not looking that good actually um, the, the sun's so bright as well so I doubt we're going to get any kind of sunset but nevertheless I'll get some shots up here and then head back down call it a day see you later bye bye So I said I was heading down, but as you can see, there's a little bit more colour in the sky. So I think I'll just um, just hang out a little bit longer to see what happens. Um, who knows? I might just get a shot yet. You never know. <laughs> see you in a bit.
hole again. Unfortunately, you're not going to see any footage from uh, Wasp Water because when I got there at 5.30 in the morning for a sunrise, um, unfortunately, there was a lot of people in camper vans, in tents, there was sprawled out everywhere. And there was even people lying on the rocks in just sleeping bags. So I decided it was probably a bad idea to get out the, the vlogging camera and start, start videoing and waking everybody up. So that's why you're not going to see any uh, video footage from um, Wasp Water. Um, so what, 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 of course what I will do is I'll put the pictures up at the end of this video. I hope that's not too much of a disappointment but like I say I, I didn't really want to be stomping around the place. I was kind of like a mouse with slippers on trying to be quiet. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll put them up for you later. Bye-bye. Just a word of mention for these, National Trust. If you've not got one, I, I, I think you should get one because um, in somewhere like this, it's like five pounds to park, which is quite expensive, really. Um, but uh, one of these cards is well worth the money, I think. And I, I think I've almost got my money's worth out of it already.